welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a drugstore makeup tutorial. I've got a lot of new drugstore makeup. There's like a lot in front of me right now. I've been bored, which results in me online shopping. Every single item was under $10. I think the only thing that you can't get at a drugstore is the palette that I'm using, but it was so cheap that I I consider it drugstore. It's from Amazon and it is called the Fantasy 21 color eyeshadow palette and it looks like it's from Do Color, Do Color, Dream in Color. I don't know. I could be pronouncing it wrong. I don't know. I will link this in the description box if you guys want to get it. This palette was $6.99. So I really do consider this like a drugstore palette because it was so cheap. And the shades are like extremely pretty. I want to do something with this and this. And I have a look already in mind that I want to do with it. So we're going to do that. First thing I'm going to do is clip my hair back because my hair gets stuck in my earrings a lot my hair is very long also I got these clips from Amazon as well they came in a pack of like 12 which is great stop it saying so stinking loud the first thing we're going to do is our eyes because I'm afraid that this might this palette that I have might have a lot of fallout in it so i think we're gonna do that first oh maybe we should do brows i don't even think i have a brow product from the drugstore you know what i'll use brianna's brow product because she's my sister and she loves sharing so <laughs> we won't tell her about it either oh, she had this elf brow pencil and i knew she had this in her collection that's why i grabbed it I haven't really been filling in my brows like a lot. What I've been doing lately is using gel. And that's it. Like I've just been using gel on my brows. And I'm literally just fucking going crazy because I'm going to cry about my brows. So yes, I know it looks like Right now. Ain't too shabby. I honestly think I need a taller tripod. Because I need to like slouch. So my camera doesn't fall. Okay, I finished my brows. Now time for eyeshadow. They don't look the best. Brows just don't look the best today. I don't mind it though because, you know, it is what it is. I forgot to put my shirts on. <laughs> I'll put this on and just let it seep in my skin while I do my eyes. Oh, I look wet. I know this may seem like it looks like a lot on my eyes. And that's because it is a lot. But I need to cover up my veins. I'm going to go in with the Fantasy palette. I'm going to be using the shade Serene right here. This like periwinkle. Oh, that's a good word. That was mine. Periwinkle. I'm literally just putting this everywhere. All over my eyelid. But I'm pressing it, I'm not dragging it into my eyelid. I'm just packing it on first and then I'm gonna blend. For $6.99, this is very pigmented. And so far I don't see any fallout, which is really good. This is so pretty, I feel like kinda like Cinderella with this color. I didn't really expect this palette to be as good as it already is. Okay, so I got these little gems from Michael's a long, long time ago. I would say probably around like six months ago and I never once used them, but I'm just doing this for fun seats. I am using the Kiss Lash Couture in the shade Russian Volume. These were like extreme, but I wanted to do an extreme eye look, so I thought that these would be kind of perfect for that. Um, and these were $7.99, um, but let's hope that they look good on my eyes. These actually look really pretty actually. Shut up. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I literally talk in a British accent all the time. I don't know why. I think it's 
so much fun. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna scatter these all around my lashes because why not take a crazy chance? Why not? Why not do a crazy dance? If you live in the moment, then you might. I forgot the lyrics. Now we are going to move on to face because these eyes took me way too long. So I'm gonna do my primer first, and the primer that I got from the drugstore is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm going to be using the Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. This is the first foundation that I actually ever used um, when I first started doing my makeup because I didn't, I didn't know much about makeup then. Another thing that I've been really getting into lately while doing my makeup is cream contouring because I used to not be able to know how to do it and it always kind of like intimidated me but one day I was watching um, this youtuber she does really good makeup her name is Jordan Lipscomb and she does her contour really well and she suggested a cream contour in one of her older videos I think and I just started cream contouring because I wanted to try it and I wanted to see if I would be any good at it. So here we are today. Cream contouring. Big steps. For concealer today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. But I am in the shade 360 Cashmere. I know I look crazy right now. Every time my mom watches me do my makeup, she always tells me how crazy this step is. <music> Okay, so when I was blending this out, what I noticed is that it gets really dry really fast. So you kind of have to work fast when you do this step. Okay, so now for cream contour, I already started doing it a little bit because I forgot to say what I was doing. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick. Um, and this is in the shade Call Me Maple. to set my under eyes. I'm going to set my face using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I'm in the shade Fairlight. I've actually been using this for a really long time now because this is one of my favorite drugstore setting powders. Loose powders, I mean. Holy crap. I literally just can't talk. And what I notice with my skin is I have to press into my nose this area because it gets oily. <gasps> What in the just happened to my skin? Oh my god. Don't freak out, don't freak out. Let's try the other side before I start panicking. <laughs> this side looks hella good, but this side, there's like this area on my under eye that is like Like you can see everything under my eyes. It's like so weird to explain. Basically what I'm trying to say is this is like the concealer and the powder just I feel like aren't working on like right under my eye right here because I don't know if you can see this. You see that line right there? Okay, my eye, my eye, oh my God, my contact is I'm falling apart. <laughs> what the heck is going on? This isn't you. You're not like this. Well, I'm just gonna keep going because why the fuck not? I really hope that's actually that looks makes my skin look so much better. I probably just should have used the breast under. Whoa. Holy sh the brush makes my skin look a lot better. Now we're gonna bronze. I've used this bronzer 20 more than 20 times. What? What mom? Not talking to you. She is grumpy. Anyways, I am going to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and I've used this like a thousand times. Not actually, but you know. 
I've used this a lot because clearly, as you can tell, I've hit pan. And this is like one of the first products where I've ever actually hit pan. So I'm just gonna put this right here. Pretty. And it smells amazing too. bronzer I'm gonna use blush and this blush is so cute I'm gonna show you guys this is so little look at this compared to like my hand it's almost oh it's like the size of my palm I guess this is the Maybelline fit me blush in the shade coral and coral is like one of my favorite favorite blush colors so I'm just gonna put on the apples on my cheeks and then lift it up so when I smile it's like lifts my face and now I'm just gonna curl up my cheekbones using the Maybelline fit me powder okay so my camera died but um, while I was charging it I just did my bottom lash line and I add some glitter on my inner corner and put some chapstick or lip gloss on um, but now I'm going to do my bottom lash line mascara real quick and now I'm going to What am I gonna do? Why am I having like a major brain fart right now? I don't know what I have to do. Okay, I have to do setting spray now. That's what I was, I was just, she's not all there today, so. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water in the, I was gonna say shade, but it's not a shade. Um, it is in the flavor cucumber. Was flavor the right word for that? I don't really know. Um, scent. Cucumber? Sure. Am I running out or is this just like not working? Oh! Are you f kidding me? That shit. Anyways, now I'm going to be doing highlighter and um, I've used this highlighter for a really long time now and it's called the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlighter and this is one of my favorites. It's literally just like so broken, it just pops right off the front <laughs> but it's one of my favorite drugstore highlighters looks chut am i done no i have to do lips and then i'll be done i don't think this counts as a drugstore lip liner but i'm gonna use it anyways because it has a drugstore price so the lip liner that i'm going to be using today is the morphe lip liner in the shade sweet tea i want to say it's five dollars but i don't know for sure literally my favorite lip liner ever and now i'm gonna be using the nyx butter gloss in the shade fortune cookie this combo right here these two together are holy grails of mine all right now i'm gonna take out these little hair clip thingies this is the finished look i hope you guys like it but I did really like the way that my skin turned out. I know in the beginning it, I really thought that this was like gonna go to sh like I really thought this makeup wasn't gonna turn out nicer and it wasn't gonna look good but it honestly looks way better than I anticipated it would but I've always loved drugstore products and majority of my makeup collection is drugstore i have nothing bad to say i think this makeup looks really good and i really like the way that all of it applied but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video too and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so that you can watch more of my videos if you want anyways stay safe stay healthy be you be yourself love yourself just i will see you guys soon with more videos so Hope you guys are ready for that. Love you all. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day or weekend. Whenever you're watching this, peace out. Mama finished. Yeah.